C. Lindelof videos, TI Inspire Cast, polynomial division with remainders. We've done other videos with polynomial division, but this time I want to really talk about what, how to, to read the remainders when you get them. So here we go, just a really quick problem. We're going to use our expand function, which is this EXPAND. Right? Hopefully you notice that when you went from something the calculator did not recognize to something that it did recognize, it goes from italics to standard print. This is uh, helpful to know if you're having a hard time uh, answering why you're getting some kind of weird syntax message. I'm going to use division because I'm doing polynomial division, but I am going to set it up more specifically. I'm going to use control division, which actually gives you the solidus here. And then I'm going to type in my function, which happens to be x cubed. Really important here because people screw this up, and I did as I tried to make the last video. If you want to get out of where the cursor out of where the X one is right there, use your right cursor and then take a look. This is how I screwed it up last time, and make sure the cursor is down and then continue. So I had plus 2x squared, so 2x. Remember the caret right that makes exponents is right here squared. I'm up in the X one, I want to go out of it, so I'm back down, right? Minus 6 x and then I think it was yeah it was minus nine. I actually did this problem with long division just to test this out and make sure I was getting it right. And I wanted to uh, divide by x minus two. So here's x minus two. From here, obviously, we're just going to hit enter. So you get this answer, and it's super weird because if we had written this ourselves, you would have written it. You would have written this first. You would have written x squared plus four x plus two are for remainder this thing so what the calculator does is it puts the remainder in the front super important to remember because otherwise you're going to see this and be like what the hell this doesn't make sense this is wrong it's not wrong it's written in this specific um, order for reasons I don't understand but I do know that consistently the cast calculator does this it's correct but it makes this mess so our answer actually is this remainder this What's highlighted in the blue right now is the remainder. Because I, I keep getting these these uh, comments from people saying, I keep getting this weird thing at the front. The weird thing at the front is the remainder, and it needs to be tagged on the back. So this would be x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus that remainder, right? And you would probably put an R there for remainder, uh, depending on how your college professor or your teacher wants this done. So I hope this was really helpful. This calculator will save you so much time. And if it doesn't save you time um, because your teacher wants you to grind it out and show him or her exactly how you got your answer, what it will do for you is it will confirm that you got the right answer. So I hope this is helpful. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have any questions or comments, you know to leave them, and I'll definitely respond.